Uh, Lucinda's with us now. Lucinda, good morning. Good morning. And I guess after, after Carlisle, where he'd flashed his talent, but it, it all went awry, yesterday meant an awful lot to you and your whole team. Yes, it did. I mean, um, Skew saying that he's one of the best he's ever dealt with. That's not the first time I'd heard that. He, he watches them up the gallops and he said the same thing going up the gallops as well. So, um, and the responsibility that we now have to keep the horse in the right shape and, and to keep him going, keep him uh, sound and everything is immense. But my goodness, it was just a fantastic day. Um, you're right. He was a bit novicey. I think Derek said afterwards, you know, he's just very clever and he hadn't seen a um, a water jump before, so he, he just had to work it out for himself, but I don't think he'd be making that mistake again. I mean, Skew was talking about the enthusiasm that this horse shows at home and the enthusiasm that he do, that he shows for every every facet of of life. Is, is, he, a, is he a hard horse to train or not? Um, he's awesome in the way that he's got a very long stride and he powers up the gallop, so that's really good. Um, but he's actually a very straightforward horse. You know, Jamie was dealing with him yesterday and said that unlike Brindisi Breeze, who had his quirks, and even Arthur, um, he's such a strong horse, Arthur, that he would get himself into trouble sometimes. Oh, Senor is not like that. He's very powerful and he's got a long stride, but he's not a horse that you have to worry about, really. It's, it's quite a nice situation to be in. I think the dog agrees with you, Lucinda. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's barking at the <laughs> turning in, and I tried shutting the door. I could shout. I'm sorry. <laughs> what well, would it? Any dog owners know who the know who know who the boss is. Um, the most important thing is is Ahoy Senor well this morning. He is. He is. Um, we got back from Newbury. He got back about nine o'clock as well. And uh, I fed him this morning at six o'clock, and he ate everything and and was eating again. And so yeah, I know he's very bright. He's it's a bit frosty here this morning. It's a bit snowy, so he'll go out in the woodchip paddock for a while. But uh, he's absolutely perfect. And the obvious next step for him, if you just sort of look through the pattern, is that grade one Corso star Felton novices chase at Kempton. We had a bit of debate about it yesterday on the show. Uh, what's your inclination to go there or, or otherwise? I don't know. I spoke to Lydia yesterday and that was my sort of first thing. But um, we're, we're really lucky. We've got a super guy called Paul McIver and Sku obviously has got lots of experience. And we'll, we'll have a look at all the options really because... It's not really about the next target, it's about the target after that and how we get there. And, um, you know, obviously we'd love him to go to Cheltenham. So whether it's for the brand advisory or not, I don't know, but we'll see. And I think the important thing is how we get into that next race. So probably could be Kempton, might be somewhere else. Could, could, is he the sort of horse you think that could take two or three, three or four races between now and, and the spring festivals? Or are you going to keep him fairly quiet? I mean, I'm, I'm sure he could take it, but I think... I would much rather just have one one more run before the, any festivals. I mean, that's the that's the way that we've done it before. Let let them fill up and let them mature and stuff. And you know, it's it's always going to be difficult with him because he's he's relatively light, lightly raced and has a lack of experience. So um, I'm sorry about those dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all getting they're all getting involved now. It's just terrible. Anyway, the dogs are barking. So um, yeah, no, he's uh, we'll, we'll just look after him and make sure that we get him to the to the aim in the in the right condition. Lucinda, thanks so much. I'll let you let the dogs out. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.